Okay, well this video is hopefully going to be as energetic as possible because I'm actually quite sick and I've been <laughs> sick for a couple of days. I've had a couple of people asking me to do more pickups videos and more Woods Got Goods and... <coughs> <coughs> I don't actually like doing them that much. They're, they are kind of fun. I prefer editing the game quest, but we've got a proverbial crap ton of crap lately. <laughs> Yeah, the last couple of months have been absolutely mental for, for both of us, really, as far as growing our collections go. And it's a lot of stuff that we just haven't possibly been able to get on camera, but we still want to share it with you guys. So, for those of you that enjoy these videos, I hope you get a kick out of this. There's a load of crap here. A lot of it's new. New worse stuff. Um, essentially, a lot of it came from Tyler, because Tyler is not only selling his retro stuff, he's now started selling everything. Um, so we've really capitalized on that. I just want to go out on, on first and say that um, we had a garage sale this morning. Well, I had a, we, it was at my house, but yeah. we had a garage sale this morning. And there's a guy who's been coming and he, he rocks up and we do trades. He uh, just left and he gave me a Zelda booklet for free, which was pretty nice. Yeah, he gave me this uh, Activision Atari Cup for free as well. So um, that's Stampede, which is nice. In our last trades, with me and that guy I managed to pick up Zelda Link to the Past and Zelda Link's Awakening. Um, you'll have to excuse me if I glaze over stuff, go quickly, or just completely blank on something. I'm half asleep and I'm very sick. Um, and I bought the most beaten up mess I've ever seen. Oh, actually, no, we've seen a worse one. But, uh, for $25, which is pretty awesome because it does work, it is all good. So, I'm happy with that because I don't own this. Well, now I do. Might need to add that I fixed it. <laughs> and Wood also fixed it. It was pretty broken. I fixed it and I modded it to play so, in the region. Very good now. Um... I will just go through this randomly. I guess I'll tell you the story, kind of. Tyler told us that he was going to sell his Wii U stuff. And essentially, it ended up being 400 um, if you count in the games I paid to begin with. I bought oh, to yeah. begin with. Yeah, yeah. But essentially, we bought his entire Wii U collection for 400 which included two Wii U's. And you might be able to just see the white Wii U sat behind me. I actually have the black and the white now. I'll take a picture of it um, if you can't see it. Because it actually looks pretty awesome together. Yeah. So, in this $400 lot, which we split, Chris got a black Wii, I got a white Wii, I got a Pro Controller. I'm gonna move my glass away from here. I'm normally, if you're, this is the first video you've seen, I'm normally a lot happier than this. <laughs> I'm actually quite tired and I wanna go to bed. I think I've said that already. Um, so some of the, actually this wasn't part of the deal, but I got Mario Kart 8. We both got my, Mario my Kart 8. <laughs> neither part of the deal, but. Did you buy it fun. as well? Yeah, I bought it. When did you buy it? The other day. <laughs> actually, the same day I got this stuff. Or the day after. Because yeah, I was like, we, we both bought Mario yeah. Kart 8. Because it's excellent. So these are the games I got from Tyler. Um, Scribble Notes Unlimited, which I've been playing a lot lately and is actually really fun. Sonic Lost Worlds, which I've been dying to get my hands on for a while and it's not as fun as I'd hoped. Uh, I've been looking forward to playing Sonic Transform Racing for a while, so hopefully that's good. I played the first one and loved it. The new Donkey Kong, which everyone's raving on about, I look forward to starting. Mario 3D World, I loved Mario 3D Land, so I'm hoping I find that one equally as enjoyable, and I'm sure I will. And a game that I might not even bother playing, unless a bunch of people want to co-op it with me, is Mario Kart, Mario Kart, Mario Brothers U, because all these Mario games are the same, honestly. So I got a bunch more stuff, I got uh, Ninja Garden 3, Wii Fit U, NBA 2K13, and Darksiders 2, those are the ones I don't really care about. And I also got the Zombie U, really looking forward to getting through that one. That one's awesome. Yes, uh, Lego City Undercover, GTA but Lego, Nintendo Land, good to play with mates. Uh, that was so gay. <laughs> yeah, that was really, really, really bad. <laughs> um, but Pikmin 3, really looking forward to, and shamefully I've still never played a Zelda game, so I have Wind Waker HD, which could quite possibly be the first one. I have a few now that I'm meaning to get to. Um, speaking of Zelda, we'll go into the next lot and so it'll be the first thing I'll show. So after that, that Wii U adventure with Tyler, he then messaged us to tell us that he was also getting rid of his 3DS stuff, and do we want to uh, partake in that adventure? So for $300, oh god, for $300 we bought his entire 3DS collection, which and came DS with a bunch of DS games. It's getting there. I'm sorry. And a 3DS console, which Chris hasn't picked up yet, but it was actually the original 3DS console, which... Uh, was bought on launch day, so for those of you who don't know, the consoles that were bought on launch day, there was immediately a price drop, and to compensate the people who paid full price on launch day, or whatever, in the first few weeks, 
they gave you like 20 free downloads for games and so Tyler got those 20 free downloads so there's 20 games on that 3DS as well as A Link to the Past and a bunch of other stuff you still haven't got it yet though no but I'm really looking forward to grabbing that it's boxed and knowing Tyler will be in relatively good condition and <laughs> nice to add to the collection hello um, so with that 3DS for 300 came all these games um, probably one of my favourite things was a uh, promotional material Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is a sealed, and I believe it's got a bunch of posters in here. Not, and I'm not a game, but just a bunch of posters, and you can only get this through pre-ordering from Europe or Germany or something. I can't quite remember. That's my cool little thing from it. I also got Zelda Spirit Tracks, which is a DS title, obviously. I've been looking for that for a while. Um, some other of mine were Lunar Nights. I got like quite a lot of RPGs. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Um, 999. <laughs> Okami Den, I don't know why I forgot that. Devil Survivor, um, another code. I let Chris do some now. <laughs> Alright, I got uh, Sonic Generations 3DS, Contact DS, Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood, which I wouldn't mind playing a Bioware RPG with Sonic, so it could be fun. Uh, Pilot Wing Resort, Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D. Uh, Spyro, Skylanders, Spyro's Adventures, I still gotta get the box and portal and stuff for that one. Shinobi, <coughs> Kid Icarus Uprising, and uh, Sonic Colors. Have you got more? Yeah, I got more. Um, I haven't done any of the 3DS ones yet. Yeah, I haven't got to the good ones. In my Adventure Time on DS, which apparently is really good. It's done in the style of, um, of uh, which Zelda did he say? Was it the first one, or Link to the Past? I can't remember. Um, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, been looking for that for a while. Gianna Sisters, I started playing that recently and that's really fun. Pokemon Y wasn't one, I've had that for ages. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I've had that for ages as well, I don't know how they managed to. Super Mario Brothers 2, Luigi's Mansion 2, which was the one that we both wanted along with whatever one you had that we both wanted. Yeah. Tales of the Abyss, which I'm extremely excited to start. I'm like, I have a real hard on for RPGs lately, <laughs> I don't know why. I've actually never been an RPG guy until lately. I've really gotten into them. I've also got Skies of Arcadia. If you can see it above Chris's head for Dreamcast from Tyler recently too. And uh, Resident Evil Revelations. Finished it on 360. Loved it. So I wanted to play the original port. The original port? That wasn't a port. The original game before it got ported. Yeah. Well, I also grabbed uh, Rabbids 3D. I've been really getting into Rayman lately. So it's nice to have a spin-off. Uh, Ocarina of Time 3D. Yoshi's Island DS. You stack your games horribly. See, I oh, put the that... spines out so people can still oh. see the games. Right. This could take a while. Yeah, you can speed that up. Alright, so last few of the 3DS ones. Uh, Cave Story 3D, really looking forward to giving that one a shot. It looks pretty <coughs> cool. And uh, Animal Crossing A New Leaf. <laughs> and then the other two that we were both really after was uh, Mario Kart 7 and uh, Super Mario 3D Land. Do you already have this one? No, no, I finished I it, but I want to play it again. Yeah. Um, so yeah, out of that deal, it actually worked out really well. There was four 3DS games that we <laughs> both wanted. So he got two and I got two. And I think we split it, so you got two that you more want. I got two that I would more want. Yeah, so yeah I was I know very you wanted happy Luigi's with Mansion. What was the other one you uh, wanted? Yeah, it was mainly just Luigi's Mansion. That's the... Really? There's a few others like that I wouldn't mind having, but Luigi's Mansion is... You, I, I'm running out. You go, you got yeah. more than me. <laughs> Uh, well... Oh, what? wait, I got another one. I've been playing it today. Dead or Alive. Um, apparently, this is rare, because it was on the shelf for two weeks, and then they pulled it, and they re-released it with an MA rating. M. So, M rating. So there you go. That's a little rarer. A little rarer, little rarer. And I've actually, I didn't think I was going to like it, but I've been playing it, and it plays a lot like Bloody Raw, which I love on the GameCube. So, that's a good game, everyone. So, also about a month ago, Wood and I went to the uh, Watch Dogs midnight launch uh, for him, because I didn't have a PS4. And while I was waiting around and everyone was talking about PS4s and stuff, I bought a PS4. <laughs> <laughs> so, I uh, got um, Watch Dogs with it as well. Uh, Rayman Legends, which is a lot of fun, and I really like it. Wolfenstein was a bit disappointing. Um, and I also picked up this cool Child of Light thing. The disc isn't actually in here. It's just a download pack with some extra stuff. Uh, I put about an hour into it. And I haven't got into it yet, but um, I really want to give it another shot and uh, see how it goes. Did 
Do you like Wolfenstein? No, I found it a very standard Have first person shooter. You? Yeah. Can I borrow it? Yeah. Well, we'll leave it here for now. Yeah. Just so it looks better. Um, I'll do one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I'm running out and Chris has got more. <laughs> um, Castle of Illusion, I actually... I have Castle of Illusion on Mega Drive and I had Land of Illusion on Master System. And I have this game on... Uh, game Gear. So I decided I didn't want to play that. I didn't want to own this one. Mattel offered it to me to begin with, but then it became highly recommended to me by a few of you guys out there. So to anyone that recommended this game to actually pick it up, I picked it up. I bought it from Tyler for six dollars. So I was quite happy with that. All right. Uh, well, the other day, and I, I, I know I have all of them. <laughs> the other day, Wood and I went out. You can actually see it on a uh, mini game quest on the Majestic Vlog channel. Have I uploaded that? Maybe not. I'll upload it. <laughs> you can see that sometime. Um, and I had a bit of an Atari themed day. I found Dragon Attacks, a bootleg one. Yeah, um, yeah. Keep talking. Yeah, okay. And uh, a few box ones which I got pretty cheap uh, Commando and an uh, Activision one. Another Activision one, uh, Freeway. And a uh, pretty good condition Solaris with uh, the manual in there as well, which is very nice. So, very stoked with that. And, uh, also I got that that day. Total fun pack, ten dollars. Read it and read. I sound like a douche when I said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you did. I um, mean that. <laughs> I'm happy I got it though. It's got Pac-Man on it. Pac-Man for the NES. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm jealous of that. Now that I do have an NES, I want to steal that off. Yeah, I also picked up the uh, BitTrip collection for Wii. Uh, BitTrip is an awesome indie game series. Um, I'd say it's kind of similar to Super Meat Boy, except you play it to music. And um, there's actually six games on here. I've only played Runner before, but a lot of fun. Chris Bells. And a couple of other random things I picked up recently. Tetris for 3 years. Tetris and, is shit. Uh, Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. I should have What? Nothing. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Damn it. <laughs> and I'm upset that you think that. I'm sorry. I don't really think that. Your choices in games are smelly. Well, yeah, I know that's a crap game. But... No, it's not. Is it? Yeah, I think. Where'd you get that from? Cashies. No, Castlevania's good. How much you pay for it? Six dollars? Yeah. That's a heaps good deal. When'd you get that? <laughs> like, a week ago? I don't want it. Fifteen bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Chris's friend just popped over and came to the garage sale and recommended a little King story to me and it sounded good and then he actually went out and bought it for me so um, that was really nice of him and uh, yeah it looks like a great game we said it, it, it's sort of reminiscent of Pikmin and to not judge it by its cover but I actually think the cover looks really nice so there you go um, I'm gonna recommend it as a hidden gem I haven't played it but I've heard good things um, and I actually did a trade with uh, Henry that guy uh, about a few yeah, messed that up a bit. Did a trade with him a few days ago where I traded uh, SNES and a few games for a uh, Master System 2, the grey one, which I kind of like, and a Sega Saturn, both with all cords and controllers and stuff, so two consoles I didn't have, which I now have, which is nice. Can I just say, uh, like six months ago, before you started becoming my cameraman, <laughs> yeah. you didn't collect games no. or consoles. <laughs> no. I think at that point you had like a 360. <laughs> at that point I had a PS1 and a 360. And no interest and in collecting, mind you. Yeah. And and now just being influenced by me. I had He when, also when, he also had money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When when I started being a cameraman, I think I had probably about 40 to 50 games. Yeah. I'm now just shy of 500. Really? Yeah, I counted the other day. I didn't know you had that many. <laughs> yeah, you need, to come, you need to come over, man, tonight. That's you want. pretty insane. Yeah, I've, You're like catching I've gotten up to mental. Me, <laughs> I've gotten mental. So your quality is going to be higher than mine, I reckon. Well, I mean, yeah. I've, I've bought a lot of junk. Um, and one more thing I bought from Tyler was he saw the recent episode of the Game Quest and saw that I wanted a Game Boy player. So for 20 bucks, I bought the uh, black Game Boy player and it came with the uh, disc. This is actually from Germania. Um, Germany. Germania. I don't want the Germania disc, 
and I also want the black GameCube now because I only got the black and purple. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. So now I have that. Um, I, I I do still want to get another one, purely just because I want to get a Australian PAL disc, and I also want the sexy box for it if I can ever find one of those. So so yeah. All right, one more thing. I didn't know you got that either. I told you. Mm. I got the uh, Namco arcade stick. Got it for 30 bucks. Hold from... it up, it's behind the game. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Namco arcade stick PS1. Got it for 30 bucks from game traders, which are usually very overpriced, but I've seen this go on eBay for anywhere between 100 and 150 dollars, so I was pretty happy to pick that up for, the, for 30 bucks. And I'll just say that with all this stuff, I mean, retro stuff aside, because I have too much retro stuff to play anyway, it's really cool and really frustrating that suddenly, I'm sure Chris is in the same boat, it's, bam, we have complete Wii U libraries for <laughs> yes. the stuff we want. Bam, we've got like five or six great 3DS titles and a few great DS titles that we've been looking for and that we want. And they're all brand new games, yeah. like Dream Drop Distance and Donkey Kong, and it's like, where do I start? I'm still trying to play through Mario Kart. Yeah. Um, so it's frustrating to try and find something to start playing. So I've actually been avoiding starting <laughs> something I want to play and playing other things like Dead or Alive I've been playing today trying to play some of the more things that I'm not going to get addicted to yeah yeah like I've dabbled in like 15 minutes of a few of those Wii games I mean I finished uh, Rayman Watch Dogs and Wolfenstein what so I chewed crap. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna ex I think people are exaggerating how bad it is no they're not so I don't want to start like one of the RPGs yeah. Yeah. now because that's going to be like way too many hours. Yeah. So I'm going to keep playing Mario Kart for a while. And uh, and and that's all. We got to we, Yeah, that's that's all. We got to we got to end this now because it's probably gone way too long and I I finally get to go lie down now. Maybe actually play some games today. It's like 2 o'clock, so I'm going to go play some games. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry that I was so dead for this video. Hopefully Chris's <laughs> life essence carried it. Um, because I'm sure I'm sucking all of it back here. But that's all. Do you want to say anything? Um, not particularly. I mean, I do have like almost 500 games, but let's remember that probably like 120 of them are Atari games. Yeah, and no one counts those. <laughs> that's all from us. See you on the next video. Bye. See you.